Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today at Friendship Shaving. It's Mark here and I'd like to say thank you to a very kind gentleman, Mal, who has loaned me his one blade Genesis razor and I'm very excited to have that here. It's a beautifully designed and engineered razor. Uh, now you can see that it has the weight taken out of the middle of the handle. And you'll know if you watch me that I normally shave the right hand side of my face with my right hand. But there's a little bit of an edge on here. It's not uncomfortable particularly, but I think this razor is designed to be held this way. Of course that makes this a little more of a challenge, but I've been using it across my face like this. And I find it to be very, very comfortable indeed. It has a swivel head. And uh, more on that later. It comes with a feather blade and uh, it is the FHS 10 blade. I've already unwrapped it because if you use feathers you'll know that they are well glued into their packet. The feather blade pushes into the razor just like that. Very, very easy. Now I'm going to wet my face. I've done this already. I was going to use a black ship shaving soap, Thomas Chew. I put it on ready to do my first pass and boy did it burn my face so it just got washed off straight away. So I've got my two band break shaving brush and instead of a Thomas Chew soap I'm going to go back to an old favourite, the Kaye Ocho soap from Lather Brothers and there is the lid so you can see. Fabulous soap this is. So now I've been thinking about the optimum amount of moisture in this brush to get the best lather and I reckon a squeeze and a shake. Two shakes. Let's give this a go. Three shakes. <laughs> it's not going very well already. <laughs> Do you know, I am so pleased to get to try this razor. I never really thought that I would have this in my den because it is an expensive razor. This one, the Genesis, is 399 American dollars. Now I've been looking on the Executive Shaving website, a UK website, and they have it for $310. Now if you think that's expensive, they also have the Collector's Edition, Genesis Blackbird and Stand at Executive Shaving and that comes in at £1,900. And I have to say that if you spend that much on a razor, perhaps the first thing you should do is check yourself in to the local lunatic asylum. Oh, this is lovely, lovely soap. It smells all sort of tobacco-y and fruity and fabulous. Now I'm going to just add a drop of water to this, but I probably don't need to because 
my brush is perhaps a little bit wetter than I normally have it to start with but we will add a drop of water You know, this is just part of the enjoyment of having a shave to me. You know, thinking about how much water is in your brush. Trying to get the optimum lather for the razor that you're using. So for instance, a straight razor, you would want a runny lather. And just taking the time to do this is just such a pleasure. And I think that is absolutely terrific. Oh. There we go. Right, we're ready. We're ready to go with this lovely razor. It is injection moulded and the fit and finish on this is really lovely. It's got a slight satin finish to it. I find that there is quite a spring action on this swivel head and because of that I'm not really utilising it in the way that it probably should be used. More on that as we go along. So let's just get into this shave. First of all, I find these feather blades are really very nice. Now you can see that I'm using it as I would a normal single edged safety razor with very very light pressure but actually if you look on the one blade website there is they've got a fantastic website by the way loads of information on there but there is one particular shot of their research and design boards and there are loads of post-it notes but you'll notice that there are mostly cartridge razors so this without doubt was designed from a cartridge razor but of course it's only got the one blade so it does away with some of the irritation and soreness that a lot of users get from using multi-blade cartridges. Now I was a little bit dubious about using it for that reason. I thought, oh, it's just going to be like a cartridge razor. Nothing wrong with a cartridge razor. But mostly they're just not for me. However, as I've said, I really like this. That's handy to have the swivel head there right under your nose.
did think this was a, and it is an expensive riser, there's no doubt it's aimed at the luxury end of the market. But I compared it in price to the Rex Ambassador Razor. So with a one blade, $399, and you get a leather case and a nice stand. So uh, I've made a comparison with the Ambassador. The Razor itself is $250, an Ambassador case is $100, and um, Razor Emporium have recently bought out a stand for the Ambassador and that is a further $50. So if you add all of that up, we're up to $400. So we're on a par with that, you know, it is an expensive Razor. Tell you what, it's a good razor. I mean, it's a really good razor. I like it. <laughs> so let me give you some of the uh, some of the backstory behind this. Let me give you some of the man hours it took to develop this razor. Twelve thousand four hundred and eighty man hours. They went through one thousand and ten prototypes. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind getting a look at some of the prototypes. I bet they'd be very interesting. In research and development, it took two years and it took an investment of a million dollars. So that perhaps shows why it's priced at the level it is. You know, when you're spending that much time and that much money on developing the razor, you've got to make your money back and get a profit. But the nice thing about this razor is that they offer a full money back guarantee if you're not happy within 60 days. And what's great about that is that I think the ones that go back to the company you can buy as refurbished. Now the refurbished model you have to have it engraved on the handle. And they engrave it with um, 16 letters so friendship shaving is 17 so I can't have that. But a refurbished model is $199 rather than $399. Now obviously that depends if they've got one available for you. But that's a very nice way of uh, you know, buying a very expensive razor with a $200 reduction. Now I said, didn't I, that this spring is quite firm. It is a stainless steel spring uh, covered with, um, oh, do you know that's gone out of my brain. I'll come back to that in a moment. Now you should be able to use this razor by fully utilising that swivel head. I find that I have to push and put quite a lot of pressure on my face when I do that that I'm not used to. That's the key. But it does provide, even with that extra pressure, a very, very nice shave. There's no soreness. The shaving angle is exactly right. Um, it's, it's just a nice razor. I like it very much. 
So what I thought I'd do next week is to do a half and half shave. Half of my face as if I was using a normal double-edged safety razor, no pressure. And half of my face as if I was using a cartridge razor and uh, include that extra pressure so that swivel head works as intended. And then the week after that, I think I'm going to come back and do a two-pass shave, as recommended by the One Blade Company. They recommend one pass with the grain, one pass against the grain. And I think using the razor with its swivel head, For two passes, just give you a great shave. But we shall see. Now, of course, I will imagine that that spring will become a little softer in time and less firm. Two passes. Do you know what? It's a great razor. <laughs> now, against the grain on my neck, but do you know what? Up here, it's pretty good already. So it's a very audible razor, I'm sure you can hear, but uh, I like that.
And there we are, that is the third pass with the one blade Genesis. Now they do different versions of this razor. There is the core version, which is made of a Triton polymer, which is a very interesting form of plastic. They have made the razor a little heavier and uh, changed the balance of the razor by adding a stainless steel bar up through the handle. So essentially it is a similar style of razor. The handle is slightly different but the head is the same except it is made of this polymer. Now that is 79 American dollars or uh, executive shaving 70 pounds. Um, and they do the hybrid which has the handle of the core but the stainless steel head of the Genesis. So you get the best of both worlds there and that is 199 American dollars or uh, 180 dollars again at executive shaving. Now uh, you know executive shaving aren't paying me to say this but I was just on their website and noticed the prices. Now, I'll tell you what, that's a brilliant, brilliant shave. Really, really good. So I'm going to just add a drop of cold water and a little bit of alum. There's nothing much there at all. I've had a very close shave, a little bit under the chin here, and a little bit along the jawline here. Um, that's about it really. I suspect if I use it and utilise that swivel head, I will get an even better uh, shave, no soreness whatsoever. And I'm going to do that next week. So. Uh, now for this week, I've also got a tube of the one blade after shave balm to use. Heals and restores all skin types, it says. So we might as well give that a go. Um, I actually got this little tube in the box when it was returned to me, uh, which was a little experiment we did on friendship shaving if you've not come across the box. Um, so yeah, I'm glad to use this. It is a brand new little tube. It still has the little foil cap on. Which I'm having difficulty getting off. Here we are, we're getting there I think. That's it. Oh, that smells nice. Oh my god, so I've... Uh, I don't know, maybe a lemony ginger. Do you know what? I like the scent of that. Oh, it feels great on the skin as well. Now that's made me a little bit sore all over, very lightly. Put some on my forehead as well. So that is my shave for this week and uh, do you know what, I'm just chuffed a bit that I've got to use this, this lovely looking razor. I will come at you with some more information along the way in the next week or so when I revisit this razor. Um, 
yeah a very nice riser if you like a cartridge riser um, this would certainly be up your street as a double edged safety riser user it's still a very very nice riser indeed and I am loving it anyway that's my lot until next time you have a good week and if you have a one blade or if you have let me rephrase that if you have a one blade razor perhaps you'd be kind enough to let me know how you find yours which one you've got and what you think of it so look after yourselves i'll see you around all the very best bye bye